Good evening folks, it's Glenn the Ball Chef and tonight I'm going to put together a pretty amazing appetizer. Uh, with the holiday season upon us, everybody's looking for a good appetizer or recipe. This has been a long time favorite of mine. It's called Sausage Rolls. It's an Italian sausage roll that uh, is a little bit on the spicy side and you may want to tone it down a little bit if it's uh, a family gathering, but if you like a lot of spice like I do, you might want to try it the way that I put it together. If not, you can use just mild, sweet Italian sausage. I'm using the spicy variety today. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how we put these sausage rolls together. Now the first step in cooking these uh, Italian sausage rolls, we want to boil the sausage first. And this is for a couple reasons. Number one, once you wrap these sausages up and you put them in the oven, you don't know that that sausage is going to be completely cooked. The second reason is that we want to make sure that the sausage is nice and tender. And the third thing, boiling this for about an hour is going to take a lot of the oil and grease out of there, which is going to make your crust soggy and it's going to add added calories that you don't really need. So what we're going to do is we're going to give five of these uh, hot, spicy Italian sausages a little bath in this boiling water. We'll come back here when these sausages have been fully cooked and I'll show you the next step. Alright, as you can see our sausage has been cooking here for uh, about 45 minutes. A lot of the oil has uh, come out of the sausages. They're nice and tender. So what we're going to do is we're going to start cooking up the veggies for these uh, sausage rolls. Yep, they're going to have some veggies in them. So to get these veggies going, we're going to start out with about a tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to season that off with uh, about a teaspoon and a half of crushed garlic and to that we're going to add a couple different peppers I have thinly sliced some green peppers you can see here we'll put those in the mix and then I've sliced off jalapenos and these are very finely julienned you don't necessarily have to use these jalapenos in your sausage roll. I like them. I think they taste awesome. I like a little spice. What we can do is add in a little bit of salt. A little bit more than al dente. We'll come back. Uh, peppers, onions, nicely cooked. Take those right out of the uh, frying pan, of course. Let these cool off for a minute. And then uh, what we'll do here is we'll take our fully cooked hot Italian sausage, remove it from the water, put it on some paper towels here. Let these completely drain off, cool off a little bit. So when we get ready to roll these up, they're not going to be too hot. And uh, as we let these cool off, We'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Homemade pizza rolls is I bought some store-bought pizza dough and I'm going to cut this into half. Set half of it aside and I'm going to take a little bit of stone ground cornmeal and I'm going to lay this down here on my working surface here. And this we will take our dough and lay that onto there so we can work with this a little bit. This stuff is a little, little bit uh, sticky. Once you get it infused into this, Mia will be able to roll it out so we can work with it. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out here. I'm going to roll this out. And we'll flip this over. I'm going to get a little more of that cornmeal on this side here. I'm going to go this way with it. About like such. And what I'll do is I'm going to work with this until it's about ready and we'll come back. The first thing we've done here is we've preheated our oven to 425 degrees. We're going to take one of our Italian sausages. We're going to lay that about like that. And then we're going to take just a smidge of our jalapeno, onion, and uh, green pepper mixture. And we're going to lay that onto that sausage roll just like such. And then we're going to roll this bad boy up tight, pinch those ends down, and then we're going to cut this off like that, roll that in, and we've got us a roll. 
and I'm going to continue this process with the other four sausages and when I finish that process I'll come back. Alright our next step here is we're going to take just a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil and we're just going to grease the bottom of this baking pan here just so that our sausage rolls do not stick and carefully place these out because these are going to expand a little bit probably wondering why I'm using such a large pan for just five sausage rolls these may expand into a little bit bigger than they are at present so we'll give these all a wide berth and then what I'm going to do, organize these a little bit better than I've done here. But I'm going to take just a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil. It's Glen the Bowl Chef, and as always, bone up. Just going to spread a little bit of that on top of these. So they brown up nicely. And then what we're going to do, is like I said, we've already preheated our oven to uh, the 425 mark. Pop these bad boys in there for 25 minutes. Sausage inside and peppers of course are already fully cooked so we'll just add uh, a little bit more of the infusion of the flavors here you could add cheese to this but this is just the way I do them look since Glenn the Ball Chef and we've just finished up our sausage rolls these are a little bit unusual because they have a extra kick with the uh, peppers and we're using some of our pizza sauce as a dipping sauce so if you want to take a look at that recipe something you might want to do so let's uh, Let's give one of these critters a try. We'll put it into this sauce and see how these taste. I'll tell you what, I've upsold you on the spiciness of these. They definitely have a little bit of a kick to it, but I uh, wouldn't be too concerned about it. Actually quite awesome. I want to thank you for watching my video on how to make outstanding sausage rolls that can be used for appetizer. If you like what you see, give us a like. If you don't, tell us why. At any rate,